How to install best WordPress SEO plugin. Search engines are a major source of traffic for most websites on the internet. Optimizing your website for search engines can help you rank higher in search results and significantly grow your business. The truth is that you don't need dozens of top SEO tools to get higher search rankings. Your site will increase in rank if you constantly update it with fresh content and you do some optimizations. So, first of all, open your browser and enter into your WordPress administration panel. Write your domain slash WP admin. Log in with your username and password. Here we will want to check first a setting that is very important. Go with the mouse over Settings and click on Permalinks. Please check that the permalinks are not set up as plain. You can use any of these options except plain. That is the most inefficient way to set up the pages if we talk from the SEO point. I would recommend using post name. Also, you can set up the optional parameters like category name, tags base, and others. Think what the best describing word for that category is. Please note that it is not so good to change this if you have a well-established site. If you make some changes, try to see if you can redirect the old URLs to the new URLs, not to lose ranking on the search engine. After you've finished to set up these permalinks, click on Save Changes. Now, let's install the SEO plugins. On the Administration panel, go with the mouse over Plugins and then Add New. On the search from the right, write Yoast SEO. When you find the plugin Yoast SEO, click on Install Now. Click Activate. Now go with the mouse over the SEO section from the left menu and click on General. On the dashboard you will see all the problems and notifications. I already have a notification about starting SEO optimization, but let's continue the setup process. Click on the Features tab. Here you can enable or disable some of the plugin features. I suggest leaving these features enabled if you do not know what to disable or not. These are OK and can help you optimize your site. On integration, you can enable or disable SEMrush and Write. These are also some integrations that you can leave checked. Let's click now on Webmaster Tools. Here you will need to add every verification code from every search engine. It is important to add all of this verification code. For this, you will need to create an account on these four search engine webmaster tools. Let me show you what you need to do for all search engines. Let's take Google as an example. Click on the Google Search Console. Select here HTML tag. Copy this tag. Go back to the Site tab on the browser. Paste the code on Google Verification Code. After that, click Save Changes. Now go back to the tab from Webmaster Tools. Click Verify. You see how the site has been verified. This verification will give you access to more information about your site queries and how it is showing in the search engine. So this step is very important to do. Also, on all search engines, you can add the website sitemap as well. I will show you in another video how you can do that. Check the description if you want to see this. Now click on Search Appearance. On this part, you will be able to set up how the title, meta description, and other knowledge graphs are set up. The system will allow you to customize all your posts, homepage, content type, taxonomies, and archives. I suggest to take a look at all of these titles and descriptions and create some text that will optimize your search engine. If you click on Insert Variable, you will be able to see what variables you have to play around with. I cannot give you any advice on how your titles should be because every niche is different, but I can suggest taking a look at your competitors to see how they have their titles. 
You do not need to copy them, but you can analyze their site and get some good knowledge on how you can optimize your site. Let's click on Content Type. You see here, if I press Insert Variable, I see some variables. This will bring in the title the exact data I set up on my posts. So, please be careful what you select. I suggest, if you do not have much knowledge for SEO, to leave for now this as the default. One thing that I recommend is to click on the Breadcrumbs tab and enable Breadcrumbs. Then click Save Changes. Here you can set up breadcrumbs for every section, so I suggest using this feature because it will help your readers. Let's click now on Social. In this section, I suggest adding all your accounts and pages that you have. Click on Facebook tab, add an image URL for the front page, a title, and a description. Please keep in mind this will be shared on Facebook when somebody shares your site there. On Twitter, be sure that this is also active. If you click on Tools, you will also get some interesting options. You will be able to export the settings and import it. Also, bulk edit posts. This is great if you already have content on your site. Now, let's see how this plugin can help you more. Go with the mouse over Posts and select All Posts. On the right of every post, you will see a status. This will show you if the post is optimized. Now you see my posts are gray. This means they are not optimized. Click on Edit for a post. On every post, you will have this option. You will be able to write a focused key, and the system will offer you some advice. You see the preview on search engines, and also you will be able to change the title, description, and all others directly here. While you write your article, you will receive more pieces of advice. Also, if you tap on Readability, you will get more advice about the content and how big it should be. On social, you will be able to add the exact image, title, and description for Facebook and Twitter. Please pay attention to this section, as this can help you a lot. Let me set up these fields on the Social tab. So, using this advice and all other settings, your ranking in search engines can greatly improve. If this was useful, Please like, share, and subscribe. You can watch more videos from the right. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.